So this is on top of uh, Ahmed's, um, you know, prescription system that he showed um, in a couple of slides before. And I should have probably just added that one to compare. Um, but what it is, is basically I've added to his component diagram, I've added users. So I've added the patient and the doctor. Um, I've added trust boundaries, um, which were not present before. And for example, here, what we would do additionally on a threat modeling session is just clarify a little bit more about this patient account and doctor system boxes. For example, we would um, probably ask, how does it work? You know, does the patient access it through an iframe or the doctor system? Is that something that's also hosted in the VPC or outside of AWS? But as you see, not a lot of things need to be added to the diagram. It's just a few tweaks, just a few colorifications um, that we do. We add a couple of, like the patient, the doctor was even easy to add because I just copy pasted it from uh, the, con the context diagram. That was the, you know, the first layer of the C4. So it, it was pretty straightforward and easy for me to create like a prerequisite for a data flow diagram turn up on the session and just, you know, add a few bits and bobs, clarify a few bits and bobs and get straight into the actual threats and, you know, security controls. Um, so yeah, also like here, you know, maybe we would verify whether this digital signing provider is um, a separate entity, a third party, or is it something also within us, you know? Um, but yeah, as you see, it just makes everything so much more simple. Um. Maybe one thing about C4 is the colors has a meaning. So for example, the gray color means it's external system. It's not uh, ours. And the blue ones mean it's ours. So if you see the patient, for example, this could be anyone out of the company, while the doctor is someone that is employed by the company. And same for the digital signing provider. It's an external system. So even the colors of the C4 model gives meaning to the diagram and makes you probe some things more and ask and dig deeper in some items. But okay. it helps us create that trust boundary as well, yeah? An mm. external system versus an internal system, an external entity versus an internal entity makes it easier to draw those boundaries. Yeah, exactly. Because then maybe in this case, we actually put the doctor system um, all within the same boundary um, if the access is from within. So, um, yeah, thank you for that addition, Ahmed. It's, um, it's also another perk of a C4, having a C4 before data flow.